Hello everyone. What is I wave for XC? Before explaining what is I wave for XC, I'll explain how normally a pregnancy happens. In a natural cycle, every month a cluster of eggs gets recruited to grow and out of which one egg will grow, develop, mature and ovulate, while the remaining eggs gets perished. At the time of ovulation, if good quality sperms are available around eggs through sexual contact, this sperm will join the egg and forms an early form of baby called as embryo and this embryo travels through the uterine tubes and if the quality of the embryo is good and the uterus is ready to receive or implant embryo, implantation occurs and that's, the how, that's how the pregnancy result becomes positive. Since so many factors like quality of eggs, availability of good quality sperms around ovulation, their transportation through tube, quality of embryo, situation of the uterus affects the pregnancy chance. Even in a normal couple, chance of achieving pregnancy is only maximum 20-25% in a cycle or a month. IVF is usually suggested in a couples with poor or absent sperms, poor number of number or quality of eggs, when the basic treatments like including IUI phase, especially when there is long period of infertility or advanced stage or when the uterine tubes are blocked or when the couple has some underlying genetic conditions. Now what happens in IVF for XC? On day 2 or day 3 of the cycle, we give injections for these cluster of eggs to grow rather than just focusing on one egg. So on day 2 or day 3 of the cycle, scan and blood tests are performed and if the results are normal, injections are started. Injection dosage usually depends upon age, ovarian reserve, previous response and body weight. After 4 to 5 days of injection, we perform scan and blood tests to assess the growth of these follicles containing eggs. Further dosage of injections are titrated depending upon the response. Most patients attain follicular growth roughly after 9 days of injection, following which we give another injection for final maturation of the egg called as trigger injection. Approximately 2 days later, we plan your egg pickup. Egg pickup will be done with a fine needle under ultrasound or scan clarinence. The needle is inserted through the vagina and the eggs are collected carefully with all aseptic precautionary measures. Don't worry, the procedure will be done under sedation and you won't experience any pain. Post procedure, within half an hour to one hour, you can resume your routine activity. Now, what happens in the lab around the time of egg pickup is that the sperms are collected from the patient's husband and after double checking, the sperm is cleansed, processed and good quality sperms are separated. This good quality sperms are either injected into the egg by an experienced lab embryologist that is, which is called as ICSI or eggs and sperms are put in a culture dish for them to fuse or fertilize naturally which is called as IVF. So after 16 to 18 hours of this procedure, eggs are checked to ensure infertilization has happened and these fertilized eggs are then cultured till day 3 or day 5 developmental stage. What we do is, this entire process is manually, double witnessed and electronically matched using specialized RFID tag dishes and tubes to avoid mix-up. Number of eggs retrieved, quality and number of embryos attained all will be conveyed to you right away. Key factors which are to determine the success of IVF is identifying and correcting the basic underlying cause of infertility, quality of injections, culture media used and the instruments used. Hence, choosing a very good sender is important. Similarly, well-experienced and qualified doctor and embryologist and well-equipped lab has paramount importance to ensure high success rate. Now, next comes the last step of IVF process which is embryo transfer. Either the embryo transfer is done 4 days after egg pickup with some additional tablets and injections or prefer preferably and mostly embryo transfer is performed after a minimum gap of 15 days to 1 month so that body hormones return back to normal, thus ensuring a better pregnancy chance. In certain situations, depending upon the underlying conditions, this gap duration might be extended. For embryo transfer, the preparation is started on day 2 or day 3 of the cycle with tablets and roughly 15 to 20 days of medications are required. Again, with the help of ultrasound or scan, the doctor will transfer the embryos into your uterus. Embryo transfer is a painless procedure and does not require any anesthesia. You will be discussing in detail regarding the number of embryos transferred, medications to be continued and the necessary post-procedure care. After 10 to 12 days of embryo transfer, 
the pregnancy test is done to confirm the growth of the embryo.